Hey, shalom and welcome to the Karma Kapash from GMS London, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chachwadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and shalom, and let's to the whole for let's push in his truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. This one's based on this uh, article here. All right, Putin gives update on newest Sama ICBM deployment. All right, and, um, you know, these, uh, these, ICBMs, these missiles that you know Russia got, they're no joke. Okay, they're no joke. Okay, these are the tools of America's destruction. Okay, that the Mosai have created, right? The Mosai have made these weapons to exist in the earth. Okay, for the sole purpose of destroying the land of America. You know, according to prophecies. All right, it's these these missiles are no joke. All right, yeah, no joke. This is from Isaiah fifty-four verse sixteen. It says, "I so behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire." Right, the Most High is one that created all these you know these engineers and you know to create these missiles, right? These nukes, right? That. You know, had this devastating power to, to level lands, you know. The most I put the spirit on these engineers and scientists to design these weapons. Okay. Had he saw, you know, do all these things. Right. And, the, you know, the ironic thing about it is the most I had he saw create and bring these into the world, but the most I is going to have them use them against himself to destroy himself. You know. See, behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument of his for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. All right? And that's these ICBMs, man. Okay, that's what's going to be used to destroy America, to rain down fire upon it. Okay, to turn it into the lake of fire. All right? This is what they, you know, what these missiles are going to do. Right, it says, um, Russia, Russia president says that the first summer in intercontinental ballistic missiles will enter combat duty by the end of 2022. All right, so by the end of this year, they'll be fully uh, combat ready, ready to be deployed and used. All right. It says, we have successfully tested the SAMA heavy intercontinental ballistic missile. According to the plan, the first such system will enter combat duty at the end of the year. All right, so the summit was testified in April. So the missile will, will replace the older Vovoida systems, also known by the NATO reporting name SS-18 Satan. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, Esau is funny, man. You know, indeed, it, you know, there is Satan. <laughs> so the, the, Dmitry Rogozin, the head of Russia space agency, Roscosmos, said in April that the summit dubbed Satan II is the most powerful missile of its class in terms of range and warheads, you know, it's like I keep saying, you know, these are uh, nukes, man. They hold multiple warheads. One well, one missile can hold multiple warheads, right? And each one of these warheads, you know, are many times more powerful than the hydrogen and atom bombs that you know America were testing and using, you know, uh, you know, back around the World War Two. All right, a lot more powerful, man. A lot more devastating. Okay, each one of these warheads, you know, and, and there's, there's there's many on that one missile, you know. This is um, it was designed to be invincible to all existing air defenses, he said, and they will be, right? Not because you know the Russians are so clever and all that BS, but because the the Lord is gonna guide these missiles and you know cause them to hit their mark okay to not be intercepted all right now i'm gonna get into i'm gonna get into that in a minute man but um you know let's, let's just play this video man little...
right? So, yeah, these missiles are no joke, man. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's grab the scriptures, man. All right, because like I mentioned, these, these are the tools of America's destruction. All right. And it ain't, it ain't just going to be Russian, Russian nukes or ICBMs or whatever, man. The Lord is going to send or, you know, use all these nations' nuclear arsenals and missiles and whatever to destroy the land of America, man. Okay, but Russia is just, you know, the, the main antagonist, if you want to, you know, call it them, like, in this in these prophecies, man. All right? Between America and, and, and Russia, right? And Russia going to shoot their missiles, man, and, and, and destroy it. All right? I'm going to this from Isaiah 47. I'm going to start from verse 10. And this is speaking about America, right? So for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none is beside me. Okay, America put themselves, you know, in the top seat in the earth, and, you know, they want to call all the shots, you know. They're the big I am on the, on the planet, or so they think. All right. It says, therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And that's another thing to, to um, remember, man. These missiles, they're fast, right? They're real fast, okay? And they can hit America within 45 minutes or under, you know? So, at one moment you think you might be cool. <laughs> and then you got 30, 45 minutes to deal with a nuke, which you ain't going to be able to. You know? And your destruction is going to come just like that. It's good to say within an hour. Right? Which I'm going to grab after, right? It says, um, Stand now with thy enchantments and with thy multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers and the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Okay, ain't nobody gonna come and save you, man. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> ain't no demon is gonna come and help you. Alright, it says, Behold, that, behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Okay, you ain't you ain't delivering yourselves from, from, from these missiles, man. Okay, the most have ordained your destruction, and that is it. All right. So there shall not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast laboured, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. In all you going to come and intervene for you, in all NATO, in all uh, Patriot missile system defense, whatever, no iron dome, no nothing. You're nothing gonna come and help you and deliver you from that from that destruction, man. Alright. This is Isaiah 13, verse 1. I'm gonna read down. I'm gonna read through it. It's lucky, right? It says the burn of Babylon, okay, i.e. America. Alright, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Alright. It says uh Lift you up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a, of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of the host, so like a master, master of the host of the battle. They come from a far country. From the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Okay, what do we read about the Lord created the smith? Right, to bring forth a weapon of indignation, right? So that's what the, this is what you saw, right? You see it in the where's that shot? Can I get the can't get the um time now. Well you saw Yeah, screw it. You saw the, the image of um, uh, the missile 
encompassing the earth, you know, going around the earth, right? Come from a far country, right? Come from, from Russia. It's going to go around anywhere it needs to go. It'll, 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 it'll take that route to land. All right, but Russia is like on the other side, you know. So it says, they come from a far country from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them, and they shall be in pain as woman, as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. So behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. Right, he shall destroy the sinners, sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Right? From all the all the smoke. You know, they what they call that um like a nuclear winter, man. You know? All the all the smoke and you know, all the debris and everything that is it prevents light coming through. Right? And they call that like a nuclear winter or something like that. Alright, this is um verse eleven, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man much more pre much more precious than the fine gold, than a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of a place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. Right, when these missiles land on the land of America, the, the earth is going to shake. Okay, it's going to set tremors all around the earth, causing earthquakes and, you know, tsunamis and all kinds of shit going to be going on. Okay, and the whole world is going to feel that vibration. That's how bad it's going to be. All right. This is... um. And it shall be as the chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn his own turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. And everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall be fooled by the sword. Uh, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. Behold, I will sell out the Medes against them, can okay, just represent Russia in this sense in this time, right? Uh, which will not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Okay, you're not going to strike no deals and no bargains. Man. The Russians are fed up with you, man. <laughs> They're fed up. Man. They're up to here with you Americans, man. You Europeans had enough of you. All right? And when that time comes, most I'm going to put a spirit on, on you know, these Russians and these other nations, man, to shoot their missiles at you, man. To destroy. To destroy the land of America. All right? So their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, which we all know the story of, of that. Okay, the Lord destroyed that place with fire, fire and brimstone. Okay, this is this time these these missiles are going to be used to to you know get that effect, right? To blaze it with fire. Right, and it says here it shall never be inhabited. Okay, America is going to be no longer inhabited. Okay, that's going to be like a dead zone. No one goes there. Okay, no one lives there. All right. So it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs uh, shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the iron shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And a time is near to come. Her day shall not be prolonged. Okay, Time's running out for America, man. Time's running out on Esau. Period, in his whole kingdom. Okay, Yahweh is about to make his return real soon, man. Okay, with the armies of heaven. Okay, with the angels. Okay, and, and that and that point, man, at that point, it's over. Alright. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. 
that all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Right? As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and the strong, they have never been never they have not been ever the like. Neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. And again, this is gonna start going into these missiles. Right? A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Right? The fire before it is, you know, like the um what do they call that? Um the entry, you know. Man, what's that what's that called, man? The friction when it, you know something comes into the earth's atmosphere, wherever that's called, you know. You're gonna see you see the heat, you get the, the flames, right? That's fire devoured before it, right? And when it lands, what happens? Boom. Right? Fire. <laughs> you know, fire at the head, right? See the fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burning. Okay, the, the you know the um you know the fuel the propulsion systems, right? So in the land is as the Garden of Eden before them. Okay, it's cool, it's calm, you know. And behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, nothing shall escape them. Okay, so when these missiles hit, they wipe everything out. Okay, they wipe everything out, man. And there was life there and then there's nothing there. It's just waste, wasted. All right. The appearance of them is as, as the appearance of horses and as horsemen, horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, so they leap at the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a, as a strong people set in battle array. All right, so when, when, these, when the missiles hit and these, you know, they call the mushroom clouds and that, when the explosion happens, you know, the fire just rips through everything, man, just consumes everything. Okay, it consumes buildings, goes through the buildings, over the buildings, you know. It says, uh, before they face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. They shall march everyone on his ways. They should not break their ranks. So neither shall one thrust another. All right, so like I mentioned, these missiles, you know, Putin said, you know, they're made to be invincible. Well, they are going to be invincible. Like I said, it's not because of, you know, because of Russian technology. <laughs> Ain't going to have nothing to do with it in, this time, in, that, in that day. Okay, but the fact that the Lord is going to, be amongst those missiles, man, and guide those missiles to, to, to their mark. There ain't not gonna be no missile missile defense system that's gonna intercept them. You know, they're not gonna hit one another. Alright? So neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk everyone in his in his path. And when they when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in, in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, when these missiles hit, the whole earth is going to shake. Okay, from, from the, the, the megatons of energy being, being forced into the earth, man. You know? And like I said, it's going to cause all... You know, a chain of a chain of events or a chain of, uh, of effects, man. You know, more earthquakes and volcano eruptions and tsunamis and all kinds of man stuff going to be happening. All right. <laughs> you know, Godzilla come out the come out the ocean. <laughs> you know, all kinds of man stuff going to be happening, man. You know, the wife and the, you know he <laughs> down there. All right. Anyway, um. Or oh, is it? The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Okay, so like I said, all the, all the smoke and that's going to block out the sun. Okay, it reminds me of the Matrix, man. You know, when, when you mentioned about the war, and they said they scorched the sky. Well, they used them, they used them nukes, man, to try, try and defeat the machines and blocked out the sun. <laughs> Thinking that was going to defeat the machines. You know, but this, you know, um, these weapons when they're used Especially in the amount they're going to be used man You know it's going to block up all kind of Sunlight Okay all kind of light 
Uh, says, um, and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that execute, executeth his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very ter terrible, and who can abide it? Okay, it's, it's these weapons the Lord has created. Okay, that's part of his arsenal, part of his army. All right. He says, therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and with mourning. Uh, right here, yeah, because hey, yeah, you're gonna need a savior, man. Okay, you better hope you're the elect. Okay, we all we all hoping that we are. Okay, that we got this truth, you know, 100 percent of this truth, and the Lord gonna deliver us, man. Okay, especially the brothers that obviously that that they're in the land of America. You know, because that's that's the that's the main place of judgment right there. All right, so we're all hoping that we're going to be delivered from the troubles to come. All right. Anyways, uh, what else have we got? We're going to end it with this, right? It's Revelation chapter 18, verse 19. It says, um, And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city where we were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. All right, so like I mentioned, man, you know, these missiles are fast, man. And when they start to get shot, man, so it's going to take an hour for America to be destroyed. All right. Um... We can read up a little bit. Look at verse 16. It says, Saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught. Okay, America is going to lose everything <laughs> in that hour. Okay, everything's going to be gone. All right. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning. Right? Saying, what city is like unto this great city? Like I mentioned, America's been put on that pedestal in the world, man. The nation that everybody wants to, you know, be like or succeed and, you know, be as prosperous and as powerful as them on the planet. Everyone aims to be America. They're the top boy, you know, in the world. <clears throat> so then they cast dust on their heads and cry, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein we, wherein we were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for one hour she is made desolate. Right, and that's what it's going to take, man. Like I mentioned, these, these uh, you know, these missiles are the tools of your destruction, man. Okay, the end of America. All right, so, you know, with that, I hope this is edifying, and I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So, until next time, I say shalom.